family welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back my name is victoria and on this channel we'll talk about nursing school challenges lifestyle and a little bit of everything feel free to join my family by clicking on the red subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to know whenever i post any new video i'm happy at the same time i'm sad i'm happy because i'm now among the hundred subscribers gang Yee! YouTube said I should shout it to the rooftop, so I'm shouting it here. Thank you so much to everybody that subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me 100 subscribers. And I'm sorry I didn't make video last week. My plan is to be making video at least once a week. But last week I didn't make any video because of the weather. You know, we the association of young YouTubers, we don't have ring lights. We depend on natural light to make our video. And... Uh, last week was the last week weather was not that good was bad here in nigeria especially my area so i couldn't get the natural light coming in and the only place i can get natural light in my house is whenever i sit on this my black chair and um, i'll fix the window then have the natural light coming in so last week i didn't really have that but i'm sorry uh, i know we'll grow and we'll get red light yes that even at night you can do our video it's a process so i'm sorry about that a sad one is this after my delay of one week i made this video and after everything after editing cutting and all the rest if you're just starting on youtube you know that editing and cutting is not easy so after my whole wasting of time editing and cutting and i finished the whole work i said okay let me transfer it to my laptop so that i can you know produce it on youtube the app i'm using told me that i don't have space i should delete some things from my phone and I said, okay, let me go and delete the, the, the video I made since I have it on the on the app I'm using to edit. After deleting everything, I said, okay, let me now import it to my phone. The app is telling me that I don't have any video. I was like, how? How come I don't have any video? After deleting everything, I want to now post. You're telling me I don't have video. I tried to recover my video. Search everywhere, praying for miracle to happen so that I'll have my video back. Although I blew, I did not. That is how I landed myself here again to still repeat the video. That's my sad story. It's not easy for me as somebody that is just growing on YouTube. It's not easy because I'm not looking at it. I'm still going back to start cutting, editing and all the rest. It's not easy for new YouTubers. But it's okay. It's a process. Now, I, I felt like crying, but I can't. It's not crying that will bring back the video than get my ass together and sit down and redo the video. That's why we are here again then i want to apologize for saying i'm going to commit now not until i started youtube video and never knew we have a lot of roster in this compound and they have decided that you know we the community of oman oman must disturb this lady's video and they have decided that anytime i sit here that's when you hear the roster crow they will just be crowing up and down. i will be like i waiting i do i'll be peter let me deny jesus they are just scrolling everywhere that me, I will even shut off for them to finish, then I will start again. So, I'm sorry, you may be hearing their noise at the background. Please, just listen to me and leave the roster crow noise at the background. Secondly, you may be hearing babies cry because everybody is at home this period of lockdown. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, I hope my apology is accepted. On today's video, we'll be talking about antibiotics and antibiotics resistance. Now, what is antibiotics? Antibiotics are medication used to treat and prevent the spread of microorganisms and bacterial infection. That is what antibiotics does, and that is what antibiotics is. It is used to treat and prevent the spread of microorganisms, bacteria. Antibiotics are important medication that we need as it helps to reduce the complication of diseases preventing the spread of diseases and treating bacterial infection. Now, what is antibiotic resistance? Antibiotic resistance is the ability of microorganisms, bacteria to resist effect of antibiotics that they were once sensitive to. Basically, antibiotic resistance is when antibiotics can no longer kill the bacteria, uh, microorganism infection in your system. That's what antibiotic resistance is. That means the bacteria, they now resist the antibiotics. 
they are now resisting it. That is what antibiotic resistance is all about. And this mostly occur when we abuse antibiotics, misuse antibiotics, take it anyhow, and it can as well happen on its own. Antibiotic resistance can happen on its own. It can just happen, but mostly it happens when we, we misuse antibiotics, use it anyhow, overuse of antibiotics, or not taking antibiotics the way we're supposed to take it. And this is dangerous because any bacteria, microorganism that survives antibiotics treatment can grow and multiply. And when they multiply, they will pass their resistance property to other bacteria in order to help them survive. So not only that they have resisted the antibiotics, they have like they will just like stretch stretch a hand of help to other bacteria in your system, giving them res the resistance property in them to help them survive and also resist the antibiotics that we are going to take, thereby making it difficult for you to get treated with such antibiotics again. Now, what are the causes of antibiotics resistance? Or what are the things that we may be doing that is causing antibiotic resistance in our body? Number one, prescription diversion. Prescription diversion is just like sharing your medication with a second party. When your when medication is being prescribed for you and you decided, no, oh, me, I'm going to share it with somebody, that is prescription diversion. If you're doing this, you need to stop because it's very, very bad. That antibiotics is prescribed to you because there is a targeted bacteria or infection that you need to treat. When you share your antibiotics, that means you're not taking the full course or dose needed for that bacteria to die. And this will make the bacteria microorganism to now form resistance against such antibiotics, thereby making it difficult for you to get treated with such antibiotics. So if you're doing this, you need to stop. Number two, taking leftover antibiotics. Sometimes when your doctor prescribes medication for you, you take the one you want to take and keep the rest. Maybe because you feel you're okay and uh, you tell yourself that let me keep this one. When I have such symptom again, I will go and pick it up, which means you're actually praying for your occurrence of such infection, which is very, very wrong. Before your doctor prescribes an antibiotics for you or a dosage, he or she knows the quantity that you need for such bacteria to die. So don't take your don't take half and keep half. It's not good at all. It's not helping, it will not help you. Rather, it will make that bacteria to form resistance against that antibiotics, thereby making it difficult for that antibiotics to treat you of microorganism and infection. Number three, skipping days or skipping drugs. Please, I want to say something very serious here. If you're a TB patient, tuberculosis, HIV, please, I'm begging you in the name of God, do not skip your drugs. Do not skip your drugs. It will not help you. TB patient, you know that if you take your drugs the way the doctor asks you to take your drugs or the, the way those drugs are being asked to, because I know they have a particular way of taking that drugs. If you take those drugs the way they are being you know, programmed to be taken, you know you will come out okay, healthy, revive you know you will come out free of tb so please do not skip your drugs i wish I, I, I there is a way i can sound it because when you enter resistance you will not like it you won't know the result of entering resistance until you see somebody that have entered resistance so please don't skip your drugs hiv patients if you take your drugs without skipping it you know you will live your normal life if you're a man you will live your normal life have your kids marry and those kids, you will not even infect them. They won't, they won't have HIV. They won't be HIV positive because you are taking your drugs without skipping it. And if you're a woman too, if you're taking your drugs without skipping it as a HIV patient, you know that you will live your normal life, have your kids, still breastfeed them. They will grow up without having HIV and them. That is That can only happen when you take your drugs without skipping or when you don't abuse your drugs. And also take those fruit and vegetable to in order to boost your immune system and fight against any bacteria because you know you're, you already have a, um, a low immune system, but you need to take fruit, vegetables to boost it. HIV is not a death sentence. Yes, I will say it. HIV is not a death sentence, but you make it a death sentence when you don't take your drugs, when you skip them, when you play with them. That is when the, you, you will see it as a, as a death sentence. So don't skip your drugs. 
take them the way you're supposed to take them. You will see yourself having kills, having your husband, they won't be infected with HIV. So please do not skip your generally skipping drugs is not good because you're calling for resistance. Those sickness, those bacteria will resist those, those drugs that when you take them again, they will not work on you. And please, when you skip your drugs, do not pack the whole drugs and take at the same time. Maybe you are supposed to take two tablets of paracetamol in the morning, then two in the afternoon. So because you skipped the morning own two tablets, you now have to pack four in the afternoon and take because you skipped morning own. Please don't do it. It's not good. It's not healthy. You are abusing such drugs. Number four, constantly taking antibiotics or overuse of antibiotics. You see this number four, 80% of us do it. We abuse antibiotics. We think it's my own work. We think it's spam wine. Everybody just drink any how they like. And as a woman, let me tell you something because Oka and Jolaka, we take it most. We are the chief baba of taking antibiotics. We just take it anyhow, go to pharmacy, buy it and take. Let me tell you what happened. Let me explain to you what happened when you constantly take antibiotics. Antibiotics are designed to kill harmful bacteria in our system. But however, they kill both the good and bad bacteria. Why? Because antibiotics doesn't know the difference between good bacteria and bad bacteria. What they know is bacteria. So anytime you take them, any bacteria they jam there, they will kill. Because they don't know good bacteria and bad bacteria. They will kill bacteria. Now, remember, we as a woman, we have good bacteria our soldiers are the vg area that guides the vg they are there to protect us they are there to guide us they are like our soldier they protect that place they fight infection coming in but when you constantly take antibiotics the, what antibiotics will do is to kill both the good bacteria that is guiding you that is shielding you from infection and at the same time kill the bad one then when they kill the good one remember after killing the good one the place is now open for any bacteria to drive in, any infection to go in because what guides that place is now killed. So that is what happened and that will now return you to start having fungi infection, vagina itching, fishy smell, soreness and all the rest. Instead of you to get treated with the, with the antibiotics you, you took, you, it will now reinfect you back to those bacteria that you, are, that you, that you think that you have killed kidney failure now we know that our kidney is responsible to take away toxins both medication from our blood through urine that's what kidney does for us or that's one of the function of the kidney now people with kidney conditions when you constantly take antibiotics what you're doing is just like giving the kidney more work to do like you are giving the kidney a work to, you know, take away the toxins, take away the drugs from your system. And not the kidney keeps working, keeps working. And before you know it, you may have kidney failure. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Thank you so much for being part of my channel today. And uh, if you have any comments or any suggestion, drop it on the comment box. And at the same time, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For my subscribers, I say thank you. And for the ones that have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and subscribe. And at the same time, turn on your notification bell to know whenever I post any new video. See you on my next video. Bye.